And you, in a moment, you're going to meet Eileen McHale, the inventor and developer of Yonanas. I've known Eileen for, I can't tell you how many years, but we haven't seen each other in quite a while. It's lovely to have you so back. Good to see nice you. to see you. Oh, it's been a hot so, minute. So, Roro, come on in. Yes. This come is Rosina Russell. Hi. Hello, so nice good to meet, meet you. Ro has okay. a little boy at home who just yes. turned two. I'll do this while we're chatting it up. So let's talk uh -huh. to her and everybody about what Yonanas right. does, because what we're Absolutely. doing is using frozen bananas to turn it yes. into an ice cream consistency. Absolutely. I have two ingredients here, and this is just frozen bananas and frozen strawberries, pushing it right on through. And what we're doing is creating this texture, so right? Good. It's just like a soft serve ice cream. And you know what? People love to think of Yonanas as like that guilt-free dessert. You know, it might be something fun for the kids to enjoy as well. Just like you were saying, you've got a two-year-old. Again, two ingredients. But what I love also is what we're seeing all over social media is that we're not just enjoying this as a guilt-free dessert, but we're enjoying it even as like a bowl for breakfast. You know what? This is a perfect opportunity to take that strawberry banana base and enjoy it all day long, all year long. Just go ahead and add a little coconut, granola, some more fresh berries. But here you have have that creamy texture, two ingredients. That's frozen strawberries and frozen bananas. That is it. The this creaminess. And this. this is it. Ro, try that. I need to try it. I know. Here you I go. I want you first to, because timer. this is your first time first ever time. with Yonanas. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to be amazed. Yeah. You're going to think you're eating banana strawberry ice cream. I mean, this is the surprise. It Amazing. Right. And there's nothing in there <laughs> the except the sugar this. that naturally occurs in bananas yes. and strawberries. That, now, you can add other it. things to it if you want to. Absolutely. But We're just show that you. would be fantastic. Now, mm -hmm. Eileen, talk to us about how to I freeze the fruit. So if you're going to freeze bananas, we say peel and freeze your bananas. Now, these are a little bit spotty. We'd like them to even be, I would probably give this even three more days, uh, those banana bread bananas. Peel them first, freeze them. But again, you know, any fruit that you can find even in the grocery store. If you've got frozen mango and pineapple like you can easily find in the store, that's what I'm putting in right now. So. Bananas, yes, we can use bananas, but you do not have to use bananas. I am throwing in frozen pineapple and frozen mango. And what I love is you can go ahead and make a creamy treat just like the bananas, especially if you do two things. So this is my tip. One is always thaw your fruit, right? We want you to throw that on the counter for Until like... Until it's a little flexible. Exactly. You know what? We say seven to ten minutes, or you know what? If you don't even have the patience, go ahead and put it right into the microwave for 30 seconds, Because I will tell you, right? if you put it in rock-hard frozen right. right from the freezer, it'll come out kind of powdery. Exactly. It. It's like a shave ice or an Italian ice. Exactly. If it's too frozen and it's a little bit drier. So you would want to avoid so, that if now, you can. Now, what you don't know, Eileen, what? is that Ro is from the 305. She's from Miami. Oh, mm -hmm. she moved here from Miami, so she knows mango and pineapple. I live wow. there a lot. Rather long time. closely. There yeah. you go. I had my own mango tree, so I know. So you get to try this, and this is the difference. Like I want to be able to show you, I get this creamy not only because I thawed this for, like I said, that 10 minutes, but I love the fact that mango. You think of your fruits that have a little bit of a dense um, flesh. Yes. Mangoes, as opposed to say a watermelon that's watery, it will also help you to get to that kind of creamy texture that the bananas will give you. And if so, you want to feed your little one a I dessert know. like this it's uh, right. just mango and pineapple that's it it's natural it's all natural mm -hmm. sugar that's it's just all. the naturally occurring sugar and the mango and the pineapple nothing added now if you want to add other toppings yes. you can and Eileen right. will do that in a moment but I will tell you this mm -hmm. is a one-time only value only available at this price until the mm -hmm. end of the show or until the item sells out whichever comes first now we have it in blue yep some might call that Carolina blue I know oh, I would uh. <laughs> um, 1200 in the blue mm-hmm and in the red one you're using, mm -hmm. 800. Now, she's putting bananas through, but she's right. also putting chocolate sandwich cookies through. There you go. You could take peanut butter cups mm -hmm. and put through here mm -hmm. with the banana. Uh huh. Oh. You could squirt a little banana or right. a little chocolate sauce on that banana. Right. When it comes up, how are you doing? Very there you exciting. Go. This is I great. mean, you can make it as guilt free mm -hmm. or as guilty, guilty. Uh -huh. as you want to. And can I tell you, this particular recipe with the cookies, this has been the one that's really kind of saved me with my crazy, I have a crazy sweet tooth. I really, really do. So I'm the person that if there are cookies, if there's candy, any of that in the house, it talks to me all day. I go back to the pantry and I eat slice, you know, piece after piece or cookie after cookie. Oh, honey, I used to eat whole sleeves of, of chocolate sandwich cookies. I'm going to admit to Glass everyone right now, I once ate an entire package of those chocolate sandwich cookies in one day. Yeah, how I you went doing? back all day long. And I and so what I love about this, remember, you've got those bananas in here, that has the fiber. 
right? Mm -hmm. So I will tell you, for me personally, this has helped me to just take a couple of cookies because it fills me up. I'm not on that hamster wheel of just constantly going back right. and trying to eat another one, another one, another one. Does anyone want to try We're still eating cookie? pineapple mango. I know, sorry. But I know. try <laughs> banana and chocolate cookie. <laughs> yes. Do you like chocolate sandwich cookies? Yes, of course. It's, it's like cookies it's and cream. cream. It's like I know. cookies and cream. This is um, like Can I tell summer. you while Roe samples mm -hmm. the bananas with the cookies? <laughs> I know, they're crazy, right? <laughs> you are going to get a recipe book with 75 recipes inside. Mm -hmm. Did you write all the recipes? I did. I think there might be two or three I did not. But yes. for the vast majority, mm -hmm. she did. And inside, things like, oh, hello, Autumn. Mm -hmm. How about pumpkin pie? Uh -huh. um, some other words I can't pronounce. And they're <laughs> all right here. Now, if I wanted right. to do frozen pumpkin, could I do that? That is exactly what we have right here. So the frozen pumpkin, this is, I just took a can of pumpkin. I added some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and a little bit of vanilla extract. That's all that we Yum. have right here. Put it into Tastes ice like cream. That's exactly it. Well, I would just run that through the machine, just alternating, just like I would. But I wanted to quickly show you, because you're going to get this she pumpkin She made some recipe. in advance. Made some in advance, because you get these these um, silicone bowls that you can freeze. you call this pumpkin freeze. spice? I call of pumpkin spice with with a little bit of the cinnamon. So here you will get this recipe for the simple pumpkin or also for a pumpkin pie. Now let me pie. taste it before you put the entire yes, on Yes, it. yes, yes, yes. because I want to taste yes. it like right out of the There mango. you go. A little bit of pumpkin. Uh-huh. Mm. I know, right? Delicious. It tastes like fall, y'all. Well, and that's just it. You can enjoy this exactly as the seasons change. And I wanted to point out another recipe that you're going to get is this pumpkin pie in this ginger snap crust. This is gluten-free, dairy-free. And I know that now at my table, I have family that are sitting at the table saying, I'm on a health journey. I'm gluten-free. Sure. I'm dairy-free. So now, you know what? I want to acknowledge them. I want to support them. And that's one way to did do it. Did you put a liqueur on top of there? I sure did. This is a little bit of coconut rum and a little bit of toasted coconut. Threw that over the top again. And that one's not even in the recipe book, but I just got inspired. Hey, um, let on. me grab the recipe book. Uh-huh. Because you get your choice of blue or red, two collapsible containers to put your frozen treats in, and you get a spatula. I have a thousand in the blue, 650 in the red, and the price will go up at the end of the show. You will also get 75 recipes to get you started. This is an extraordinary pack up. This is also an extraordinary lady. She not only developed Yonana's, but she's also my good friend. And oh. it's nice to see you again, friend. Oh, oh my word, so what a much. pleasure. Love you more. Mm. And I tell you what, I see her everywhere. <laughs> so this is so fantastic. So Thank nice to have you. you back. Thank you. All right, we're going to check in with uh, Rosina, who's going to remember uh, remind us that we're in the midst of a three-day fashion event on QVC. Mm. We just took a breakout for In the Kitchen. That's there you right.